Hey there, this is Jeremiah from Waves Live, and we are excited to announce a brand new update for the Emotion LV1, introducing new and exciting features as well as enhanced workflows and updates. With new multi server DSP, you can now mix with practically no limits on your plugin count. You can also connect dual fit controllers for 32 faders of hands on control, working in multiple mix layers simultaneously. Additionally, plugin parameters can now also be controlled directly from your fit controller for fast, tactile mixing using your favorite Waves plugins. Let's dive in and take a closer look at all the updates in LV1 version 14. First, you'll notice some changes in the user interface. For example, we've doubled the amount of user assignable keys available here in the lower left-hand side of the screen from eight to 16. The mute group controls have been moved to the upper right-hand side of the screen. The spill function has been moved just above the channel banks to coincide with all other controls related to the fader bays. Channel names are now identified directly above the panner in the middle of the channel strip. The patch interface has also been improved with the redesigned high contrast color palette for improved visibility. And we've maximized the size of the scroll bars for improved navigation. These improvements will boost your workflow and make room for some of the new and exciting features we've added. Now, let's look at how to utilize multi-server processing in a mix session. In previous versions of LV1, you were limited to the processing capacity of a single sound grid server with the optional redundant server. Now, with version 14, you can expand your processing capacity up to a total of four sound grid servers, which can also each be paired with optional redundant servers. To set this up, go to your system inventory under the setup tab and assign your available servers in the server's device groups. Redundant servers are assigned in parallel in the secondary slots of each device group. Now the first server in your session is dedicated to the LV1 mix engine, handling all mixer functions, audio summing, and latency alignment calculations. Additional servers are allocated exclusively for plugin processing. In the channel window, you can designate which server group will handle the processing of the selected rack by choosing from the drop-down menu. We've also added a Servers tab under the Internal Patching page. Here, you can quickly change the designated server group for multiple channels at a time. This update means you can run more plugins than ever before, even at high sample rates with nearly unlimited DSP power, giving you complete creative freedom. With the addition of a second fit controller, you gain twice the amount of hands-on control, giving you up to 32 plus two faders and rotary controls for a fully customizable workflow at your fingertips. To assign your fit controllers, go to the system inventory under the setup tab and assign a MIDI plus fit into the device slot in the controls column and open the control panel settings. Here you have options for multiple operating modes. For example, by choosing the follow device one option on your second fit, the controllers are configured to work in tandem, meaning your selected mix layer will cascade across all 32 faders and encoders. Or you can set them to work independently of each other by selecting Mirror Mixer 1 on the first controller and Mirror Mixer 2 on the second controller. This workflow gives us the ability to toggle through our input layers on one surface while keeping our DCAs, and mix buses, and other groups on the other. This is just one example of many customized workflows you can achieve. One of the most exciting things about mixing on an LV1 system is the ability to use all your favorite Waves plugins. And now you can extend your fit surface to control your plugins as well. This has been one of the most highly requested features from our users, and we are really excited to finally make it available in version 14. On your fit controller, toggle the rotary button to activate plugin mode. Then select any plugin from the user interface on the screen, and the parameters will automatically spill across the rotary controls. All parameters are auto-mapped, so there's no manual setup required. The bottom line of the scribble strip displays on each channel indicate the parameter that has been mapped to that rotary control. Available push functions are indicated on the second line. Bank left or right to see additional parameter pages. The LV1 version 14 update is designed to give you even more control of your mixing workflow with enhanced tactile mixing and to take the limits off your creative freedom with nearly unlimited DSP for the ultimate creative mixing experience. Try it out now and happy mixing.